All World of Warcraft Classic players know about the WoW Classic subreddit, but did you know there is actually another one dedicated specifically for WoW Classic Era? It's called Classic WoW Forever. Although most of the talk about Classic Era is on the Discord server or the main WoW Classic subreddit, this first post on Classic WoW Forever is actually a link to a PC Games article written by Glenn Fox in 2021 that suggests Blizzard should release Season of Vanilla servers. Looks like Blizzard listened to you with the addition of Season of Mastery PC Games. While there are exceptions to this rule, most of the classic era realms are connected into clusters, which means you can interact with other players in the same way you would as if there was only one realm, provided that you play on the same cluster. Realms are grouped by type, so in EU, you will have one cluster that contains all the PvE realms, two PvP ones, while the role-playing and non-English realms remain standalone. In NA, there are three PvP clusters, two PvE ones and one Oceanic cluster, while the role-playing realms remain the same as in EU, stand alone. Although it was removed at the start of the Burning Crusade Classic expansion, the Chrono Boon Displacer is still available in Classic Era. World buffs are part of the Vanilla WoW Classic culture, so this was an item added by Blizzard during patch 1.13.7. You can buy it off an NPC named Chromie that resides in Androhull in the Western Plaguelands after you do a prerequisite quest for her. Once you have it, you can gather any number of world buffs that is suitable for you. Once you're done, you can click on it and store them indefinitely, creating a supercharged Chrono Boon Displacer. After you're in the raid and ready to go, you can release the item and benefit from all the world buffs that you previously gathered. While this is a great tool to counter dispelling griefers on the PvP realms, the main advantage it brings is that it allows you to continue playing your character normally, even after you have collected all the world buffs for your next raid. Pretty cool. Classic Hero Realms are running on a 1.13 client version of the game and they do contain a quality of life change that was not present neither in Vanilla nor in the 2019 version of Classic and that is the automatic dismount feature which, as its name suggests, dismounts you automatically whenever you interact with an object in game. If you want to disable it, it is possible to do so by typing in the following command variables shown on the screen. If you wish to play on Classic Hero Realms, but aren't very keen on doing the entire grind to level 60, there is a way to speed it up. Season of Mastery Realms are still open to character creation until February 14th, 2023. Should you choose to level there, you will benefit from a buff that essentially doubles the XP and gold you get from quests. After the realms close, or you are done leveling, you can choose to freely transfer your SOM character to the Classic Hero Realms. While Blizzard isn't seen with very keen eyes as a company that is in constant touch with its community, there is a direct link of communication between the Classic Hero players via the official Classic Hero Discord with one of WoW Classic's developers, Agrant. Agrant has provided us so far with very valuable information, especially on the state of bug fixing the game. And speaking of bugs, the Classic Hero community has kept a comprehensive bug list that also contains changes to the 2004 version of the game. This shows how dedicated the community of Classic Hero players has been in reporting those bugs to Blizzard, with the hope of making their Azerothian home even better than it already is. A popular opinion I have seen circulating the social media around WoW Classic is that all players are in full tier 3 bis and just repeatedly raid next week in week out. Let me assure you this is not the case. While there may be veterans that have sticked around ERA ever since it launched and are speedrunning next every week, the recent influx of players, either from Season of Mastery or returning players from Wrath of the Lich King, means you'll regain that sense of progression you had during the initial phases of the original WoW Classic. I've been noticing recently that new guilds are forming and these are surely preparing to raid MC for the first time. Hell, even I'm in a progression guild, where we've just recently got BWL on farm, so we've still got a long way to go to complete every piece of content this game has to offer. Therefore, if you feel like it would be too late for you to join Classic Era, don't. Give it a shot and see for yourself how it feels to be home again in Azeroth. For the first time since their launch, Classic Hero has seen its first official medium population realms. What I'm talking about are the non-connected role-playing realms Hydrexian Waterlords in EU or Bloodsail Buccaneers in the US, which are home to the hardcore community, and a couple of smaller but dedicated guilds which have been present on these realms even before the recent resurgence of hardcore. 
If you're not a fan of hardcore, the PvP cluster on EU containing Fire Maw is also the newest addition to the medium population list. Other well populated clusters which I expect will soon reach medium are the PvE cluster on EU containing Pyrewood Village, as well as the NA clusters containing White Main and Man Creek. If you somehow do want to play hardcore and also benefit from the Soul of Iron buff, you can create a character on Season of Mastery, get the buff from the NPCs in Iron Forge or Undercity, and then take the free transfer to the classic hero realms. I mentioned Blizzard's developer Agrind earlier, so here's a fun fact. He has hinted on the classic hero discord about the possibility of bringing the Soul of Iron NPCs over to Era. While vanilla purists may disagree with such a decision, I'm personally in favor of it, since it only adds up a cosmetic cool effect to anyone who has reached a certain level with their character without dying. 